Hello, welcome to my garage. Today we're going to take the next step on the Vectrex and hopefully the last step in upgrading the battery. I'll start with reassembling all the panels and then we will... Uh, it will take a few days before Matteo has time to program it. But after programming it I hope I can drive it and then I will give some feedback on how much did this project cost me. What's the range now? And what the weight of the bike is now it's all upgraded and has a lot more range. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started! First I've connected the laptop to the peak adapter to the Factrix. And here I update the firmware of the motor controller. So with the, with the updated firmware it still runs. I didn't put anything in between the batteries and at the bottom of the battery box. I had a reason to do it like this. I think if you put in some rubber padding or anything it will insulate the battery. And now it's aluminium onto aluminium and that will give the heat through very easy. So the battery can lose its, uh, the, the high temperatures through the bottom of the battery box and also from battery to battery. If you put some rubber between the battery modules you insulate uh, the middle module the most. So that will, it's, it's possible that that will get hotter. And that's the reason I decided to do nothing in between the batteries. Now the complete bike is uh, back together. The only thing now that has to be done is to, to, to program the last part. I need uh, Matteo his help for that. Several days later. Now we're updating the software in the Factrix. It was done all online. The various parameters are set to the new battery and the new charger and BMS. The high cell kept on coming and when it's put onto 11S, so without the 12th cell on one of the batteries, then everything was working as it should be. So that means that one of the cells is not getting the reading to the battery management system. One of the batteries is giving a fault, it's not missing, it's missing one of the cell tabs. So everything has to come back off the bike and I have to get out the bottom of the three batteries. One of the cells didn't get a reading in the BMS and I found out what it is. Uh, this is uh, one of the connectors, uh, original connectors. There are two wires going to cell tab 12. So there is one cell tab with a fuse and two uh, pins going out. One of those pins was not connected or, or defect or I don't know why or what. Uh, what's the exact problem? One of the pins doesn't work, the other one works. And of course the pin that did not work was wired into 
the connector. So I got the glue off the connector and then I deep pinned it and put it into the other. So now I get the reading of the right pin. So now it works and the programming was already done for the 12S module. So now it all works and I can drive it and I can charge it without any faults. Obviously we want to know what the weight of the motorcycle is right now because the range has extended significantly. But what did it do to the weight? Well I have uh, weighed everything I got off the bike and everything I put back. So the um, charger, the new charger was lighter than the old one despite it's having the double amount of power. Uh, the complete kit from Matteo has a weight of 8.4 kilograms, that's including the shipping box. I have put everything, old parts, in the shipping box and weighed it, weighed it also. also. That was 12 kilograms. So it's about 4 kilograms heavier. But the batteries are more heavy. I have weighed the old batteries. The old batteries are 89 kilograms. The new batteries are about 30 kilograms each. I have, I have three of them, so that's about 90 kilograms. So one kilogram more than the old one. The bike has lost two and a half kilograms approximately because it's without the uh, new nuts and bolts I, I've put in. So we can say roughly the weight is about the same. On 238 kilograms, two and a half is uh, not much. It was an expensive transformation for the bike. The set I got from Matteo was about uh, 1660 euros. And the battery modules were about, including shipping, about 860 each. So that's a total of 4200 euros to make this conversion. So it is quite expensive, but I think it's worth it. If you're interested in the parts I used from Matteo, link in the description. Well, I have tried to empty the battery as much as possible. I had a range left of about 9 kilometers. I wanted to charge it on a public charging station, so I would know exactly how much power went into the battery. But unfortunately, the charger did not, or the public charger did not want to charge my Vectrix. I don't know why, it started charging and after about uh, a few minutes it would stop. So I ended up charging it on a regular socket so I could get back home. So unfortunately that did not work, so the adapter I have is not very reliable. It starts fine, it looks like it's starting fine but then it stops. I don't know if it was specific to this charging station or if it's a problem further down the line somewhere that my charger does not accept being charged via the adapter. Let's see what the, uh, how much power I can use from the battery. And we have to keep in mind, I don't charge it completely to 100%. Uh, the charger is limited at 4.15 volts, uh, so it won't top off on the, up to the 4.2 volts you can put in. And this charge is allowed up to 3.3 volts. I have the motorcycle on and connected to the laptop via the peak. Now I have the option writing history and then can, I can upload the history and now I can see 
how much I used. Here we have the charging attempts that went wrong. And here we have the last time I charged it before the major drive. I charge it from 95 to 255. 255 is 100%. Zero is about zero. And I have used 31, 34 and 25 amp hour. So in total I have about 90 amp hours used. So on 95% of the battery I can drive about 180 kilometers, mostly highway. Uh, highway speeds here in the Netherlands are during daytime 100 kilometers an hour. So I can follow traffic, no problems, and drive for about 180, 190 kilometers. Now I've even cleaned the motorcycle, I, I've polished it all up a, a bit so it now looks also very nice. I drove already about 1500 kilometers with it without any major problems. Charging goes very good, driving goes very good. It could use a little bit more power while driving but for going to work it's fine. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next one.